In this lesson, we're also going to look a little bit more at points, lines, and planes, but this time we're going to see what happens when they cross through each other. That's called an intersection. As this definition says, an intersection is a set of points shared by two or more geometric figures. So here's some examples, and we're going to describe the intersection. What set of points do these two figures share? In our first one, we see two lines, and those two lines have crossed, making an intersection. So what is common or shared by both the lines? Well, in this case, these two lines share point P. So the intersection is point P. And here's an example of a line and what we call a ray, and we'll talk about that in another lesson. And this ray and this line share a point also, point Q. It's a part of both the ray and the line. Q is on the line, and Q is also on this ray. That's called the intersection. Here's an example of a plane and a line, and looking at what they share. So when a line intersects a plane, as long as that line's not entirely contained in the plane, so it doesn't look like this, it's not lying right in the plane, sharing every point, but rather it's going through the plane. That's called, that intersection rather, is a point, and in this case they've named it point R. So the plane and the line both share point R. Here's an example of two planes. Now this line's drawn in because that's the intersection, but these two planes cross through each other and they share some points. For example, this point, let me name it Q, that point is only on the lighter of the planes. And this point here, let's name that T, that point is only on the dark plane. But this point, and this point, and this point, all these points that I'm lining up, those are all along both plane Q, or excuse me, both the light plane and the dark plane. It shares all the points along that line. So rather than name them point by point by point, we name the whole line because that's shared by both. And this line is line L. And you can think about line, this line, like when you look at a house or a room that you're in. Look at the room you're, you're in right now. Look at the ceiling. Look at the wall. Those are two planes, the ceiling and the wall, and where do they meet? Right in the corner, in that line that makes the corner of the room, the edge. Okay, this picture right here, this is supposed to look like three planes, and it doesn't, it didn't come out very good because of the coloring, so you might want to shade in. This is what it's supposed to look like. You might want to just shade in. This is a vertical plane facing you. And we also have another vertical plane, the dark one, and then there's a horizontal plane running through there. So there's actually three planes here. What do all three planes share? What point or set of points is common to all three? You can see it's this point here at their intersection. That's point S. That's the only point in the whole figure that's on all three of the planes at the same time. So this is point S, and that's called the intersection. Now, intersections are, are um, involved in what we call postulates. Now postulates, we're going to be working with these all year. Here's your basic definition. A postulate is a basic geometric fact that we just assume to be true. In other words, it's so obvious that to uh, argue it or to try to prove it somehow would be really difficult because it just is re it's really apparent that it would be true. So these are some basic postulates. These are things that we just say, I believe, that's right. Okay. So postulate number one says that if we're given any two points, there's exactly one straight line containing those two points. For example, O and P right here. O and P on the page, there's only one line I could draw through them. If I drew any two points, how many lines can I draw through them? Exactly one. That's our first postulate. Postulate number two, if we're given any three non-collinear points. Now remember from our last lesson, non-collinear means they're not in the same line. They make that triangular kind of shape. This triangular figure, if we're given any three non-collinear points, there's exactly one plane that can be drawn through those that contain all three points. Postulate number three. If we have a line and a plane, both together, and they share two points, so AB are the two points that they're sharing. You'll notice that AB is in line M, and A and B are also lying in plane W. Well, if that's the case, then the entire line is going to be contained in the plane. It's not going to go through the plane, but every single point on the line, no matter what I draw on that line, it's going to be in the plane as well, automatic. That's postulate number three. Postulate number four, if I have two distinct lines, that, mean, that just means two separate lines. Two distinct lines, 
and they intersect, then that intersection will be a point. That means that two lines that cross will only cross at one point. In this case, it's point A. In other words, they can't cross again, and so exactly one crossing is allowed for any two lines. Postulate number five. If two separate or distinct planes intersect, that intersection will be a line, and we saw that up in the example above. So here's two planes that are crossing. They're going to share an entire line. And postulate number six, this is one I want to read with you and ask you to pause the video and see if you can draw a picture after we complete what that says. Imagine you have a plane and a non-coplanar line. Okay, so that means you've got a plane and a line that's not contained in the plane. It's separate from it. What's that intersection going to look like? To help you, you might want to grab a piece of scratch paper and you can use your pen as a line. So I've got my plane and I've got my line and I'm going to make them intersect. I love doing this. So they cross. So what is that intersection going to be? Well, what do they share? If I pull it out, you can see it's a point, and I'm a dork. So if a plane and a non-coplanar line intersect, then that intersection will be a point. And I want you to try to draw that. Why don't you pause the video and give it a try on your paper, and then start the video again, and you can compare your picture to mine. So let's see how you did. If you're going to draw a plane and a line going through it, let's start with the plane. So I, you want to draw kind of a parallelogram sort of shape. There's my plane, and then a line going through it. Now this is kind of 3D because it has to be able to show it underneath. So I'm going to draw the top portion of my line, and as I come through the plane, I draw a dotted line to show that it's hidden underneath, and then just extend it out from the bottom. And that point there is the one point that they share. Let me name it H. How'd you do?